Welcome back to Access Carolina. Much more still to come. But first, with St. Patrick's Day coming up, it is a celebratory time. So if you're looking for things to do this week, there's a lot to choose from. We've got David Cabert here from Greenville 360 with a rundown of ideas for the week. Welcome. Thank you for having me as always. Good yeah. to be here. The busy time. We've got St. Patrick's Day around the corner. The yep. sun's shining soon. Spring ahead. Flowers are blooming. Yeah. All right. We're we'll, rocking and rolling. We get to the Ready action. To. And there's a whole yep. list of special events. Really something to draw yep everyone in to the city mm -hmm. market at Bridgeway Station. What are those? Yeah, this is a, a brand new food hall that's uh, just opened just a few weeks ago at mm -hmm. uh, Bridge City Station, uh, right in that uh, Malden, uh, Simpsonville uh, kind of area. Um, but uh, they're going to kick it all off um, with a full week of events. So as you can see right there, their official ribbon cutting uh, is going to kick off tomorrow, uh, Tuesday at 530. Uh, they're going to start their weekly uh, bingo, music bingo. So that's going to start at 630. And then the list goes on and on. You're going to have Pie Day on Thursday, uh, St. Patrick's Day festivities on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and this is just a great venue, too, because it's um, you, you pull up. It looks like a giant castle. Yeah. And uh, the kids can run around. Uh, it's outside, inside. Uh, they have the Bridgeway uh, Brewery as well. So a lot to do um, there. And just looking at it from yep. passing by, you're, everybody needs a reason to go check that out. And then there's and there's tons of reasons to, to do that. If you just want to run around, mm -hmm. you got that with the kids. If you want to go to the brewery, you got that too. So tons to do there. I like the one with the drawing too. That must be an interesting group. They they draw and yeah. have some refreshments together. Exactly. So it can't go wrong. Um, if you're looking for the perfect time to go check out those cool places in downtown Traveler's Rest, if that's been on your yep. list, the time to do that is this Saturday. Tell us what's happening. Yeah, this is their uh, browse and stroll event. Uh, they do this uh, a few times over the course of the year, um, but uh, they're going to have 60 different artists and craft <laughs> makers all along Main Street um, across uh, downtown TR. So a great excuse to kind of get out there, support some local artists, um, maybe take some part in some of the local patrons as well that you have there uh, to grab food and drinks afterwards. But this is going to be a great, great event, rain or shine. Um, right in uh, the main strip in, in TR. Yeah, and just fun to walk and kind of see what's new there. There's exactly, always something. Yep. And then Sunday, it looks like every place pretty much in Camper Down Plaza pick, is hosting but... some kind of special St. Patrick's Day something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, there's going to be uh, festivities there that are free to the public uh, at Camper Down uh, starting 5 to 8 with uh -huh. live music. Um, but a lot of the local businesses that are there in Camper Down, as you can see, are going to have specials all day. So. Paloma will have some some specials there. <laughs> the punch <laughs> shot looks like it's starting at two. Perfect buns is gonna have green beer all if day for five bucks. If you wondered where the green bucks. beer was gonna be, there it is. It will be there, and then uh, Larkin's gonna kick it off at eleven. Um, but group therapy also, they're gonna have uh, drink specials, uh, live music as well. So um, you know, I bet Larkin's makes a great corned beef and cabbage. Reading that, and now I'm hungry. All right, well, <laughs> lots that. of delicious things to to go over there. So really, just show up to Camper Bound. Uh, starting at 11 yeah. uh, on Sunday and uh, just, you know, it's an easy way to celebrate. You know, maybe you're not committed to really going full out for St. Patrick's Day, but you want to yep. do something a little bit festive. You stroll there in the middle of the afternoon and experience exactly. What yeah, you get can. that green beer and just go yeah, walk I and like uh, walk on Main Street and have a fun time. Well, thanks for finding those uh, events of for course, us you're this welcome. week. Those are just a few of the things that readers are finding out about on Greenville 360, your app, your yep. website. We'll have a link on accesscarolina.com. But anything else that you all are looking forward to at Greenville 360? <sighs> Well, we have, uh, I forgot to even put it in, but Downtown Alive is back this Thursday at Noma Square. That's going to kick off 5.30. Um, it's, there's a lot going on. So picking these three <laughs> events even was hard to do and narrow it down. So we love to hear from our fans and followers. So uh, if there's a tip, uh, an event, a business you want us to highlight, please just reach out to us on yeah. social media. Send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Everybody just loves to know what they can do because there's so many options. David, thank yes, you. We appreciate it. Thank you. People can find you, Greenville 360, online and on social media in those ways on screen right now.